Isn't it lovely to have a park near one's house? Children can play. People can take early morning and late night walks. Senior citizens can meet and talk. Actually, a park is better than a club because in a park one is close to nature. Like our forests, our parks are also vanishing. Especially in big cities, people are more and land is always in short supply. Sanctuaries and National Parks The word sanctuary means a safe shelter. The Government of India, together with the state governments, has set up many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries across the country to protect wildlife. For example, the Jim Corbett National Park in Uttaranjal and the Gir Forest Sanctuary in Gujarat. Sacred Groves We have a tradition of worshipping trees. People Banyan Gular Sandal Neem Mango Babool Ashoka are some of the trees that are worshipped here. Most Indian homes have a tulsi plant which is considered sacred. Sacred groves is another unique tradition prevalent in almost all states of India. The idea behind this is to preserve the plant life of that particular area along with the animals. A lot of rare flora and fauna exists and lives peacefully in these groves. Each sacred grove is dedicated to a particular deity. People are not allowed to cut trees or hunt animals in these groves. Sacred groves are scattered all over the country and are referred to by different names in different parts of India. Haryali in Chandi district of Uttarakhand and Devdar Grove near Shimla in Himachal Pradesh are two of the largest sacred groves in India. Himachal Pradesh has the maximum number of sacred groves, 5,000 in all. The tradition of tree worshipping in India should have been able to stop the destruction of forests. But both human need and greed are coming in the way. Trees need to be protected at all costs.